do not try to pretend to be someone else's personality because one it's weird don't do that Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Tiara, but you can go ahead and call your girl T. Here on my channel, you will find hair and makeup tutorials, DIY projects, baby vlogs, and meal prepping ideas. If you like all these things and more, please take the time to subscribe to my channel and go ahead and hit that bell notification down below. So I'm doing a little bit of a different video this time. I'm actually doing a very highly requested video and that is people just constantly ask me questions on how to start a YouTube channel, is it too late to start a YouTube channel in 2020, um, what I did to get started, how I knew what to do, what I did, and all of that fun stuff. So I wanted to just go ahead and kind of just break down as much as I could on this. And I'm going to do this in a little bit of a series as well because there's just so much to it. But um, I did want to answer at least some of these questions. We're already halfway through January, so if you want to make a channel, this is the time to do it, right? What do you need for a channel? One, you have to make a an account through Google. So you'll go ahead and make that account through Google, and then when you get onto YouTube, you can sign up and um, start your own page. They're going to ask you some questions, um, your name, things like that. So you want to go ahead and do that first. Um, and then from there you will be able to post videos if you want to the most important things I think um, while starting out is kind of just one um, And I wish this is something I would have done from the beginning I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've changed my name now for the third time which now I'm going to keep it is Tierra Lachey just my first and middle name so um, I think that before you even start trying to post a video or anything of that sort the most important thing to do is to one find a name um, and when you're picking a name you want it to be something that is marketable um, something that is distinguishable and also something that is not already used on the platform you don't want to pick a name that someone else has already used and they've already dominated that space in YouTube so for instance my original name was toddlers and Tierra and that was a really cool like play on words and it was really clever like I love the name but the TV show is obviously much bigger than what I am so none of my videos would rank because that show with that name was taking over all the video spaces you know and the ranking spots for YouTube so it would take me um, it made me pretty much impossible to find and that's just something you don't want because you need to think of YouTube as a search engine it's the second largest search engine second to Google so um, people are on here for specific reasons usually obviously they have people that they like to watch but other than that people are usually typing in words and that's a whole other thing I can get into but yeah so your name is I think so important and I think that you should take the time to pick the name um, and pick a name that it doesn't necessarily super close you into a box so like most people now are just doing like, their first and last name or first and middle name this is sometimes optional like I know some people who don't have an intro at all they do well without an intro me personally I like having an intro I taught myself how to do my own intro so the intro that I have is one that I taught myself how to do I made my own banner so, um, I'm a part of a team and I'll give you, I'll put the link down below. His name is Roberto Blake. He's really taught me like everything that I know so far. My man's be helping your girl out, okay? He really be helping your girl out. Like he's done so much for me and I appreciate him so much. I can also put down the information that I use for that and I have um, a link for that. Um, you can sign up for it. This isn't like affiliate marketing or anything so I'm not making any money off of this. This is just something that I genuinely believe that you can use if you wanna start. It's called the YouTube Starter Pack and it's really just, it's really great obviously as you get better you're going to evolve but you want to have something for your banner you can go ahead and use canva for that it they have a free and a premium version um, if you want to use the premium version you're just going to obviously get a lot more clip art but you do want to do some type of banner even if it's just something very plain and simple um, kind of just saying what your channel is about so like on mine it says millennial mother which I pride myself in being millennial mother um, it says like beauty and lifestyle lifestyle and beauty so like that's pretty much me summing up my channel like I'm a mom I do makeup I like to look bomb you know so like I vlog, I do DIY projects, that's all summed up right there. And then I have under there, like, also, like, I do videos, you know, every week. 
after that then you want to kind of decide on a schedule now i know that you guys have heard this literally 10 billion times if you've already watched multiple videos of this but consistency is really everything i started to see um a gain and a pickup in my channel once i started consistently posting so like and then i always see i fall off if i go a period of time whenever i'm not posting consistently so pick your days um you at least want to post at least one to two days a week if you want to do this seriously if you're just doing this as like a hobby you can like really post whenever you want if you're trying to get to the 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours i'm letting you know right now one day a week ain't gonna cut it unless you have one random viral video which like if you want to test your luck on that i guess you have 52 times to try that i think doing two to three is really the minimum if you do want to reach that goal um and i'm not sure if you guys know about that but in order to be monetized on youtube you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours watch time hours so if you have a video that is 10 minutes long um just think about how many times someone has to watch that before they can get to 4,000 watch time hours and that has to be done in a 12 month rolling period so if you start your first video in february and then january 31st rolls around and you still do not have those 4,000 watch time hours come february now those hours are going to start to dock off of what you're doing and now you're essentially working against yourself the only person you don't want to be working against is yourself work smarter not harder so the best way to do that is really to post as much as you can two to three times a week i recommend three um at least until you're able to get monetized and then after there um i mean you always want to keep that momentum on the same day even at the same time is really really important i try to always post around six i actually just recently changed my time so now i'm going to start to be posting at 3 p.m because i found out the audience is a little bit better at that time specifically for me i'm also going to do a completely separate video on, on just monetization in general and kind of show you guys my analytics and things of that sort because when I tell y'all, my close friends on Instagram got to watch me do the entire process because I was just constantly keeping them updated, constantly keeping them how many hours I had, and just like, y'all watch my videos, please watch my videos. So yeah, I'm gonna do a separate video on that and like the best ways to get there as quickly as possible. I got there quicker than other people, so I'll post a video for that as well. After that, then you need to decide what you want your channel to be about, y'all. I'm sure if you already have a YouTube channel on mine, then you probably know what you want your channel to be about. Um, obviously, you can kind of start off as a variety channel if you want to and then start to kind of niche down as you find what videos work best for you. I can almost always tell which video is going to do really well for me um, because I kind of already have my audience. I know my niche. So, But it did take, you know, I would say my channel is a pretty multifaceted. I wouldn't call it a variety channel, but because you know what you're getting here, like I'm a mom. Who like to be a baddie right so i incorporate things with my children i incorporate things with makeup and i also obviously show my personality because that's what people like and obviously just know you don't have to stick with that if you decide like hey i hate this don't do it um you can always change it you might lose some people in your audience but you'll gain people back in the process let's talk about equipment the big big do 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 what do you need what do you need okay so when i first started this out i was early recording on my macbook air i think i had a macbook air um and i still have some of my videos out i don't have all of them out because some of them were wild but i do have some of my old videos and obviously that's when youtube like people weren't even getting paid for youtube so it was just a completely different world people just didn't make up on their floor but um this time around when i started redoing youtube when i came back into the game like last year um i started out on my iphone 10s my iphone 10s and honestly the quality of that was great but most phones smartphones are going to have what you need to be able to start filming now i will say that it's very hard to film on your phone i had multiple issues with filming on my phone um a few of them being one the phone would overheat over time because i was just recording for so long at 60 frames per second and then two when i was trying to transport those files i just had a lot of issues because the footage was so raw and large i was just having difficulties airdropping i was having difficulties having it just sent over through a wired connect it was just a mess so that process would really slow down my editing process so it took me forever to edit videos whenever i recorded on my phone so the other drawback is that you're unable to see yourself so sometimes i will record 
parts of a video and then I will have to come back and hit stop and then I'll come back and I'll be in a different spot than when I was earlier or my hair is messed up or my lashes is undone and it was just stuff that I literally could not see because there's like no viewfinder. So um, from there midway through the year I upgraded to a DSLR. I had a Canon T6. I ended up getting a 50, 50 millimeter lens with that and um, I got that used so I didn't pay a ton of money for it. So like definitely recommend if you can find somewhere used. They really work fine like um, as long as there's just like no scratches on like the part on the inside you're really fine to use it. So try to go that route first if you do want to start off with a DSLR. Um, and now currently I don't know if you can tell by this video it looks a little different. I'm now using the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Um, this is actually my first video using this. I do have some blogs that I've been doing, but this is going to be out before then, so like, yay! Um, it's definitely an investment, and I think the quality of the video is just going to be a lot better in general. This also does have a viewfinder, so I'm able to watch myself, like right now. I'm hoping that like... Am I looking at like the camera? Am I looking at you guys? When it comes to cameras, you can literally work your way up. Start with what you have. Do not have that be a reason why you are not recording videos because you don't think you have the correct camera. Now in terms of lighting, only thing that I use, I have, I do have a couple of lights, but I use a ring light and that's what I'm using now. And then I have like a light set that I purchased. And when I take photos, they have like the little squares. I have those as well, but I rarely use those. So really my primary lighting that I use is my ring light. And I just think that um, if you're able to purchase one of those, it's definitely great. If not, like make it work with what you got get a good lamp get a fluorescent light bulb like do whatever you need to do if you're really serious about doing youtube and you want to do it on the budget like that's just what you're gonna have to do and like work your way up from there the only other thing that i use is a mic now i'm going to show you my mic it's actually playing right now so it's going to like sound weird but i have it connected to my phone i usually use my ipad but it's dead but um this is just a mic that is connected via lightning and um, you can use it with any device. So yeah, usually I typically use my iPad and connect it there and just have my iPad set directly in front of me and it's able to pick up all of my sound. Um, and that just works for me. I have an older house, so like when it was picking up like all types of like noises on my camera and I just did not like that. So like now I went ahead and invested in one of these as well. I'm gonna put everything I use in the description box down below just so you guys can have it if you want to use it. But again, my first couple of videos, I would say like my first 15, maybe even my first 20, I used the mic that was in the camera. Like I, I saved money for this and that's how I was able to purchase it. Just do what you can and if you really want it, like, you know, it's by any means. Like by any means necessary, I'm getting this video out, okay? Now for editing, I do use Final Cut Pro. Um, now I started off using iMovie, but then over time I kind of just taught myself how to use Final Cut Pro and I worked my way up because eventually I was just not, the stuff I really wanted to do, um, on iMovie, there was just like a little bit of like limitations there. So I went ahead and bumped up to the Final Cut Pro. I self-taught how to use it, which if you know how to use iMovie, you'll be able to use Final Cut Pro. But honestly, starting off with iMovie, I think you should start there. If you have a MacBook, I honestly... Do not know what the okay so from looking on here i think the alternative is wondershare that's another thing you just like definitely don't want to shell out a ton of money on this and then you decide afterwards that this is just like not something you want to do um i will say that youtube is definitely not for everyone i think that people think it's a little bit easier than what it is in general um you do do a lot of work for not a lot of payout in the beginning um you do have to grind and work hard especially if you're looking at this to be maybe like um second stream of income or if you want this to be like a full-time thing um you're definitely gonna have to work hard for it it's not a get rich quick thing i'm trying to think of what else what else would i tell you that you need my thumbnails i recently just started using photoshop so i use photoshop to do all of my thumbnails um, I also did teach myself how to do that too. I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna try to find all the videos I used that were helpful for me for um, editing and making my um, intro 
and I do have a tech background but I wouldn't say that it's super in-depth but um, I am really good at self-teaching myself so I just save money there because I do not want to pay people to do something that I know for sure I can figure out how to do on my own but yeah I use Photoshop for that it is a monthly fee another thing that I use for just helping me with uploading my videos and just helping me with my analytics and things of that sort helping me pick my um, tags and helping me with my name choices for my titles and things of that I do use TubeBuddy and that is a membership of $14.99 a month so I do pay for that as well another thing I pay for is my music what you don't want to do is get onto YouTube put up something and then cop get copyright strikes because if you think you about to get your channel monetized with copyrights you're just not going to you only can get three copyright strikes before they ax your channel okay so we don't want that I'm not trying to have y'all go out like that. So what you need to do is you got to find some music that you're able to use that is, you know, friendly for YouTube world. So what I use is Ep Epidemic Sound and you do get a discount if you use TubeBuddy. So I kind of like link those together. I think I pay like 25 altogether for all, both of them. And as long as you have an active subscription when you uploaded that video, then you won't get any like copyright strikes for this. Last thing I would tell you about doing a channel in 2020 is literally... The most important thing and that's being yourself being okay to have some failures and being okay with videos not being perfect because your videos are just not gonna be perfect first of all when you post the video you're gonna think it's perfect because you work so hard on it and then you're gonna come back months later and hopefully you see a huge difference in your progress because i've been looking at my old videos like <laughs> like i thought that was the best work and it is garbage it's trash it's literally so trash so trash like i cannot i literally cannot like and that's a good thing because you want to have progress as you move forward like every video that i post i literally watch my videos and i critique them afterwards and i write stuff down like okay i don't know what you was doing there okay your, your way looking a little funny there and you work on that like i i correct myself and i try to make every video that i do better the next time because that's important it's also important to be yourself please do not be someone or try to emulate someone that you see on youtube because remember everyone especially the bigger channels they all started from somewhere they all started from the bottom everyone started at the bottom all right so do not try to pretend to be someone else's personality because one it's weird don't do that and two people will notice if you're not being authentic people can really sense bs you know so you don't want to do that um and do not be afraid to put yourself out there. So like, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Like when I'm at work and I'm talking to some people, I'm like, yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Did I? Oh, here's here's my name. Do you wanna? I think you might like that. So like, go ahead and put yourself out there. Don't be nervous to do that. Have your friends, families, church members, whoever follow your channel get subscribed because you do need those 1000 subscribers you do need to get an audience so the only way that's only going to happen is if you start to put yourself out there okay guys put yourself out there don't be scared if y'all making a channel please let me know i will watch y'all videos okay i will watch them i will tell you how i feel about them and we, we can all just be a big old family, okay? I am going to go into some details um, later on. This was just me kind of just mapping out what you need to do a YouTube channel, to be successful, to start a brand. And I'm going to start to break that down as well. Like, I think I'm actually going to do a video on how to make just like a template banner. How to make... Um, you know an intro so maybe i'll do that as one video i'm going to talk about monetization after that what you really need to do to get into there show you guys my analytics and show you guys what happened with my channel and it started changing from there um, i'll show you guys how i branded across all of my platforms so they all look the same color wise because that took me a while to do um so there is a lot to it i'm not about the front tell y'all something different than what it is because it's a lot but if you love it and you're passionate about it one, the money will eventually come, and two, um, you'll be happy doing something that you love to do. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Down below, let me know if you want to see those videos afterwards, and I'll go ahead and do that for you. I'm trying to help y'all out because I'm telling y'all I had to do everything on my own. I didn't have help until way further down the line, and I think that um, you know it's important if someone else can give y'all a little input, a little two cents. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.